Hey everyone, welcome back to one more session. Today we are going to see how we can use uh, Snowflake's new feature which is Snow Park and create an ETL job that connects to the uh, Snowflake marketplace and query the data for us which is freely available. Uh, we will uh, perform some ETL operations on that data and we will write it back to the S3 through stage. So yeah, to give a uh, high level overview, Amazon, uh, sorry, Snowflake Marketplace is nothing but a unified central hub where data vendors and organizations host their data and make it available for commercial and public use to monetize by offering the data and services. And uh, Snowpark is nothing but a developer framework that uh, brings like, that enables developers to use programming language of their choice such as Kala, Python, SQL, and much more and this makes uh, development fast and collaborative so yeah let's see how we can define and uh, construct a use case at hand so here as we can see we are in snowflake marketplace and if we go to free data section here then we can see a data set which is of similar web this is a free data set which gives us the information about Google keywords or stuff that users search to get the similar information. Wait a second. The page gets auto loaded. That's why I'm not able to scroll down. Yeah. So we are in this uh, marketplace data set page. If you, uh, when you're coming for the first time, you will see that get access option here. I have already requested access and I have the access to this data set. So once you get the access to this data set, you can see this data set in your uh, warehouse. Like if you see here, I have this database created from that data set and I have the schemas from that data set. So the information is currently residing in the data feeds. So if we are to query this data set, let's see all the uh, data feeds from the data set. okay let's limit this by 100 so that will not bombard our results yeah so we have this uh, data set which have around i think let's see how many columns we have we have around 14 columns i guess so let's see that not columns let's describe the table we'll get better understanding yeah see so we have around 14 columns and uh, these 14 columns are of different data types and we have other information that is related to this table so the task at hand is we are going to query this data set using snow park we are going to make sure that the referral type in, if you see there is a column called referral type this referral type value should be paid so we currently have only two types of data in this referral type so one is uh, organic and one is paid we want to get the paid data out of this table and we want to write it to the uh, s3 bucket uh, in a format of a choice so if we are to see we have like around uh, 30 dates one for every day of sixth month like july month june sorry june month so we uh, so when our uh, uh, analytics team wants to write any data like any specified date to the s3 bucket they can simply give the a uh, date value to the function that we are going to create and the data should be returned to the s3 bucket and the bucket name should be having the file name as the current date name so let's see how we can achieve that first thing first uh, this is how the snow park uh, sheet will look like so we'll have two things one is a sql sheet and one is python sheet Python sheet is the snowpark sheet that we are going to use here and I have already created one you can create as well so this is in preview right now so we have the snowpark uh, class imported and we have date time to make sure that our date uh, file name is of current date so first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a temporary stage in order to get the data from marketplace to the stage so that I can write it to S3 later so what I'm doing here is I'm creating a stage and everything that you do in Snowpark needs a session. So session is the compulsory in order to perform any operations in Snowpark. So once you have the session, which is nothing but a, a class which is inside the Snowpark import that we did. So when we are creating a stage, we'll give the stage name to the stage and we'll give this S3 bucket ARN 
and AWS credentials like AWS ID and secret so that I'm passing here in order to make the connection to S3 so this will be the bucket that I'll be writing to right now so once we have given all the required parameters we are going to create a stage I'm going to create a temporary stage that will accept the stage name first parameter URL which is nothing but the S3 ARN and the key and the secret which are again added in as it so once we have the query written for us we can simply connect to the snowflake session through the sql method and we can run the query on top of this session this will create a temporary stage for us which we can use later to write the data to us three so once we have the temporary stage we need to get the data right we need to query the data that is from the data set that we just got from the marketplace so i'm going to create one more function called query and this will accept the session which is default and i'm going to pass the query like sql query that i want to run and the date like uh, we are planning to get the paid data which is of the specific date so we are going to pass the date for uh, input as well so this will again run a query snowflake query and it's pretty much simple that what we did in the create stage but here we are running the actual sql query and once we have the data we are going to write the data to s3 so this will again accept a session and we are going to specify the format the file format that we want the output to be written as and the write query like what data we want to write to that uh, s3 bucket and we are going to pass the data frame which will create a temporary view in order us to get the data because once we are uh, uh, once we are about to write to stage right we need a table so that we can use that table to write to s3 in stage so stage will take uh, the table data and it will write it like uh, I'll, I'll show you how it goes but let's get there first so this write to s3 as well will do the same operation it will create a temporary view using the data frame and once we have the temporary view we'll use the sql query write operation the right query whatever we want to specify in as so yeah the main function is what will get run in the end and it will always accept like expect a data frame to be returned if you try to return something else like string it it will not run it needs a data frame to be returned so let's see how our main function is structured i am passing the stage name you can give it any name you want i'm giving the referral type what data that we want to get out of that table and i'm uh, once the analytics team passes the date they will get only that dated paid uh, users data in the s3 bucket and the file format is packet for me you can use anything of your choice like csv or orc anything and we are going to name the file for the date that this uh, function is run so i'm just going to use python state fun data class and i'm going to call the today method <coughs> So first thing I'm doing is calling the create stage function and I'm passing the session to it and I'm passing the stage name which is nothing but the test stage. I'm passing the S3 ARN, my S3 buckets ARN. Yeah, this is the ARN. And uh, sorry, this is not ARN. This is the your you uh, What do we call it? No, my bad. Yeah, URI and i'm passing the access id is aws id and secret so first thing i'm going to do is the, run the query first query that we are running is we are selecting all the information from the table from the google search data set where the referral type is whatever type we want paid or organic and the date is whatever date our analytics team wants and we are ordering it by country just to make sure that the data is in ascending order like it's in sequence and i'm going to write only two just in case i don't want to fill my s3 bucket with all the data and the format is going to fill all the uh, like curly braces that we passed in so referral name and campaign it is both get passed to the where condition of this sql and once we have the query we are going to call the right query method so we are going to copy the data uh, my bad wait yeah 
Oh, let's get to this after the query is done. So yeah, we have the query that will fetch the information which is paid date and uh, we are calling the query data which will take the session and it will take the query that we have created just now and it will take the campaign date, the date that our analytics team wants. It will pass the date to the main function operation and it will accept the date inside this uh, formatting, Python formatting and with that data frame in place. We are going to call the right query. The right query will do a copy into our stage, whatever the uh, fo uh, folder name that we want to create inside our S3 object and the actual file name from the right table. The right table is nothing but the temporary view that we are creating here. As I said, the Python, sorry, Snowflake's unloading copy into will take the data from a table, Snowflake table and write it to the stage. So for that we need a table that's why I'm creating a temporary view here and the file format will be the format our choice. So I'm going to pass parquet for now and uh, it's going to take the formatting and it's going to pass all the variables that we declared earlier. And with the status we are going to call the write to S3 method and we are going to pass a session format. So I'm going to pass parquet but you can pass CSV. And the right query will be the query that we created for the copy into statement and data frame will be the data frame that we got from the uh, query data. If I am to call this operation, it will run in a bit and we, we should see the data in our S3 bucket. At the very moment, there is nothing. And let the function run. Since this is a free account, I think it's taking a little time. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah, we have two rows that got unloaded and the input bytes that was written. If we went go here and refresh this, we should see the data. So this is the object we created, like bucket we created. And this we have the parquet file with the current date today's date is 30th of uh, april so it took the date format and it returned that to this so yeah the, that's about it guys so i think this was helpful for you and i think you got a little bit about how snowpark works and how you can use stages and uh, snowflakes uh, data frame functions in order to read and write data to and from the cloud storage objects if this was helpful, please hit a like button and uh, please do subscribe for more. Thank you.